If you're not ready for the answer, do not pray this prayer. This prayer is not for the weak. This prayer is not for, for you know, I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's not for, but I can tell you what it's for. If you ain't about it, don't ask. Don't ask the good Lord. Don't be wasting Jesus' time like that. Won't flip, but she a dime. She work like she fuck for fine. Got a heart that's full of gold, so might as well make her mind. Keep it hot, shorty, I'm stuck all on your behind. When I say that, I can't handle it. What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all living? How are y'all feeling right now? Um, this is a hell of a bro. So hey y'all I'm trying to get myself together y'all It's like It's 3 or 9 in the morning So I'm trying to get Pull out the last bit of energy I got left So Alright I'm going to get straight into it If you're new to my channel My name is India Duh If you're not new to my channel My name is still India Duh So by the title, if you clicked on this, you want to know, in my humble opinion, you know, what is the number one prayer? You, you, you just, you got to be wanting it to ask it. If you're not ready for the answer, do not pray this prayer. This prayer is not for the weak. This prayer is not for, for, you know, I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's, not for, but I can tell you what it's for. If you ain't about it, don't ask. Don't ask the good Lord. Don't be wasting Jesus' time like that. Don't be asking Jesus. Because this prayer right here, every other prayer, Jesus, it might take you a month, two, three, four, five months, years to get the answer. This prayer, you're going to get in literally probably like a week to a month. Or at least it's always happened with me anyway. So... I guess y'all want to know what the prayer is, right? The number one prayer that Jesus just feels to expedite, make real, he going to ship it off to you right then and there. When you say, Jesus, remove anybody that is not for me. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. He gonna start removing people that you thought was for you, and you gonna be confused. You be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cause who he end up removing, you don't be expecting that. And it's like it always happens so quick. Like I feel like those prayers is just like on speed dial. Just be like, oh, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for that. I've been waiting for this. That's how I feel. Um, that's not a prayer you add. You you just pray all willy nilly. If you pray that. You need to also be prepared to let go of who he tell you to let go of. Um, even if it take you as a surprise or a shock or you don't want to. You ask him to remove. He remove it. So what's your problem? I mean, I know what your problem is. But it's just like, don't ask that prayer if you're not ready for the answer. I learned a long time ago, I don't ask Jesus for nothing I don't want to answer to. I ain't going to hold you. It'll be some stuff I'll be thinking. I'll be like, I probably should ask. I don't want to ask. I ain't ready for that don't ask that. Don't pray that. If you're not ready to do and remove who he's telling you to remove. Or you're going to try to chase behind what's obviously removing, being removed from your life. For what? Problem example. It was just two dudes, right? It's always a deal with me. It's always a nigga. <laughs> it's always a nigga. Um, it was two of them, right? And I asked this on the same day. I, I included them. I CC'd them. They named to Jesus in the email of the prayer, right? So they both in here. I was like, Lord, it was a very long week. It felt like that week was just long. It just started here and ended here. And so I was just like, yeah. And now I'm here alone, but I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? But so it was a Sunday. Was it? It was a Sunday. It was December 18th. 2022. I came home after some stuff had happened. I said, you know what, Lord? Because sometimes I, I, I really get the point where I just be like, I don't even get, 
I'm trying to refrain not to cuss and talk about Jesus all in the same video, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> I, 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 just, I, I just don't care to try to do it my way. It's just, it's just too much work. Why do it my way when I can do it Jesus' way? You know, and just add my little razzle dazzle of who I am. Jesus know who I am. Jesus know I just am. Jesus know I'm a sinner. Boy, you right. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I came home Sunday and I was just sick of tired of being sick of tired. <laughs> and I said, Jesus, if apple bottle number one and apple bottle number two ain't meant to be in my life, remove them apples. Remove them. Remove them. Literally by that Friday, both of them were gone. <laughs> like literally. And it wasn't like, oh, something happened. I think, you know, um, you got to be able to read or feel or, you know, understand God's answers. Because obviously, he ain't going to come down from heaven and tell you, you know. Um, you got to be able to take the signs and know that's from him. And I always put to make sure I know that's from him. So, when I asked that, right, now, apple bottom number one. Uh, so, okay, number one, that's how you tell the difference. Okay, apple bottom number one, I had literally just, I know I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all because I'm, I'm trying to work on vulnerability. So I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Um, a, a small portion of basically what happened. Um, long story short, I had hung out with Apple Bottle number one that Friday and we talked during that Saturday. And then Sunday, oh, well, let's go back. Friday. He was just like, um, uh, let's do a breakfast, breakfast date. And I was just like, sure. You know what I'm saying? And cool. Later on that night, he called me. He was just like, yeah, just make sure, you know, you ready at nine. And I'm just like, okay. Mind y'all. I'm in a hotel. Me and my friends at a hotel. So check out at 12. We had this conversation. It was probably like two in the morning. I didn't go to bed at like 4 in the morning. So I got up at 8 a.m. Took a shower, did my makeup. My hair was already done, but I ain't put no clothes on because I was just going to wait till you pull up. Y'all know I did not hear from that man. Still ain't heard from that man. I was like, this nigga just stand me the fuck up. Oh, Lord. Ah, ah. Sorry. Did this man just stand me up? Me? I was like, okay. And I'm also working on this thing of literally saying how I feel because I now understand that it's okay to feel emotion. It's just really how you express it and process it. There's nothing wrong with feeling those emotions, but you know, it's right. <clears throat> it's a right and a wrong way to, you know, express it. And I try to do it the right way now, uh, or just, I just try to do it now. So me trying to express my emotion, I was like, okay, he ain't hit me up. Literally, it was probably like six, seven o'clock at night at this point. Um, I mean, I'm already back in Winston, and you know, I'm just like, okay, I know this nigga ain't dead, so I'm just like, okay, I know what this is, I know what this was, and I ain't gonna tell y'all what this was, but I know what this was. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this: it was his, his little male ego from some stuff I did. That's why I'm gonna write it off ass since I ain't get no explanation about it. So. The nigga stood me up, which is where that um, whole prayer thing asked to remove came from. And so, me being me the next day, because I just like, I, I, I gotta close that shit out. I gotta close that shit out. So, I just hit him up. I was just like, you know, you ain't have to do X, Y, and Z. You know, we could have, you know, left it where it was at. And I wasn't upset. I wasn't angry. I was I really wasn't. Like, I was very calm. Um, I was just like, well, first of all, that was pointless. I, that 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 it was pointless. Like, but if you did it intentionally, that was stupid. But I was like, I wasn't mad. I wasn't upset. I just took it for what it was. Got what I need to get out of that situation from him. You know, embrace what I got from, which was positive, positive shit. And I was like, all right, whatever. But I'm gonna say what I need to say. I let you know that that was played. That was that was that was messed up that you didn't have to do all that but I, but you did it so it is what it is but i'm not angry with you i'm not upset with you you know 
it's cool. I enjoyed knowing you for the time I did know you. And I wish you the best of luck. Because that would never happen. Nigga, you stood me up, nigga. Oh, this is done daughter for you. Like, done daughter. D I don't get set up. I do stand, bitch. Oh, I'm talking about Jesus. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, literally, I haven't heard from him since. Like, nothing. Nothing. I don't know what, well, I don't know what was up with that. But I don't even give a dag on what was going on with that. So just like, all right. In my head, I took that as he was removing that uh, apple bottle number one because A, he stood me up after he initiated the date. Twice. Um, he didn't even acknowledge the message. Nothing. I was just like, okay. But I felt good because I said, well, I had the same for you. And it was like, and you haven't heard from him. That was, that is the sign. Sometimes silence is the answer. Silence is the sign. And I took that, I was like, no, back. We all them. I don't know who that hoe is. Now, I'm like, number two. It's just like, it's crazy because the way they both was removed from my life is the exact same thing. I was hanging out with Apple Bottom number two a couple of days prior to me hanging out with Apple bottle number one, right? Me and him came over here. We was cooling, we was chilling, we was vibing, watching Tubi movies. And I said, that real person, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, talking about the past, talking about our encounters, you know, how long we've been cool and all that good shit. We was vibing like for hours. For hours. And before I even say that, crazy thing is, with Apple Bottom number one, I'm telling y'all the same exact thing happened because I, the last time I was at Apple Bottom number one, we literally was on top of like the, uh, what's it called? Uh, like those parking garages, like the very, very top. We was at the top floor and we literally talked from like 3 to 8 a.m. watching the sun come up. So it's, it's the same thing. It was just the two, crazy, crazy, crazy. Not going to lower them. So anyway, back to Apple Bottom number two. So like I said, we was about for hours. And the last time I talked to him was probably like a couple of days after that, probably like a day before I left to go see Apple Bottom number one. And um, or maybe, yeah. And I had asked him about something. It had nothing to do with nothing. This it was about uh but it was about my photography business. I'll just put it out there. Uh, I was just like, yeah, look at this, you know, look at these, you know, tell me what you think. No. Didn't hear nothing from him. Like, he just stopped climbing. And no, I didn't get Apple Bottom, Apple, Apple Bottom number one, Apple Bottom number two mixed up. That's a nothing happened. Nothing caught me up because I wasn't, I'm not dating either one of these dudes. So, nothing like that happened. It literally was. I hung out with these dudes the day before and then the day after. They just stopped. They just stopped. And I just didn't hear from them after that prayer. I haven't heard from them since. And it was just like silence is the answer. He removed them quickly. Quickly. When I asked that, he removed them. And I didn't and don't care like, I don't care to know, well, what happened? Well, well, why'd you stand me up? And why did you not text me back? And why have I heard from you? I honestly don't give a rat's butt. I don't care. Because I know I didn't do anything wrong. I literally just asked God to remove whoever was, well, I asked about him specifically, them two specifically, and he removed them. It's as simple as that. And when you ask that prayer and then he removes them, I, or for me, I don't think it serves you any purpose of trying to figure out well, why, 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 why. You know why. Because Jesus ain't up. It's simple as that. That prayer alone, it was just like, okay. And I was very content with it because I knew what I was asking for. I knew that there was a 50-50 chance that... I wasn't going to hear from them. They weren't going to be a part of my life anymore. And I was okay with it. And because I was okay with it, and I already knew possibly what the answer was going to be on both ends, it was easy for me to just be like, all right, I don't need to know why. 
Adam, it is what it is. You all were removed. So somebody else, well, somebody <laughs> can come through and do better things than what you are. You were taking up space. So it's just like, I appreciate both of them for, you know, what they, what they taught me, you know, all the good I got out of it. Cause I got good out of both. I, I swear. <laughs> I swear it. Um, but yeah, that's the prayer that if you're not ready to literally let go of who he's he's removing, you're gonna have a constant like friction. Cause it's gonna be going this way. What who these people are, that person's gonna be going this way, pulling that direction from you, and you confused, so you trying to do like this, and now you on like a chase method when the whole time is just supposed to be like this is you and this is them. Not this is y'all. No, it was, it's, it's time to let go, let it go. So that was just, you know, my little Jesus disciple moment. Don't get too crazy. I, you won't get these because it's very hard trying to explain this without cursing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, no little story. Don't ask that prayer. And my fact, ask it. When you watch this video, Pray that prayer tonight. Now, you might not have nobody specific. If you do have somebody specific, say their names. Say their names. If you don't have nobody specific, you can still say that prayer. I promise you. I promise you. Watch people stop dropping like flies or a person stop dropping like stuff that's going to go left. It, I promise you. I promise you. Because I feel like most people have people in their like current lives there's not supposed to be there. Set up right. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. And watch how quick that prayer get answered. Watch. Watch. I could be a pastor if I didn't, you know, live this ratchet life, but I don't ever want to be a pastor. I could be a motivational speaker. You know, not a pastor. So that's it, y'all. I just wanted to let y'all know that. While we getting in, we starting off the year fresh. Go ahead and say that prayer. Mm. You know me, Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. That's so <laughs> go ahead and say that prayer at the beginning of the year and watch who you end up with by the end of the month, year. Watch. I'm telling you. So that's all I had to say. I'm tired. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Smooches. Disciples of the Lord. I'm not even going to call y'all the other word today. Smooches disciples of the Lord. Amen.